Will you be careful with those Shrek-like things of yours? That box is fragile. It's made of cardboard. What's in the box, smart ass? My ornaments are in there. Jesus Christ. What is it now? Nothing, nothing. Uh, where would you like them? Out the window? It might have been as funny as you think you are, and that's the saddest bit of it all. Yeah, well, you married me. Regretting it every day. He looks like a good egg. Mmm. Mm. Don't forget my ornaments. Oh, what would I possibly do without the ornaments? Thank you for reminding me. I'll take it to the car boot sale later. Shut up and get in here. <sighs> oh, hands are slipping. Hands are slipping. Oh, oh sweet hole. Liam, were there no other flats we could look at? This was the only one in our price range. Okay. Stop being such a hypocrite. You're exactly like that kid when we first met. Fair enough, fair enough. I think it's just the stress of the move. That was the last box, right? Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. As much as I would love to keep kissing you all day, I've got to get to work and I'm leaving you with the unpacking. Oh. I was the one that carried all the shit up here. You can do the hard work for once. Chinese, when you get back in? Yeah. Are you Chow Mein? You know me too well. <laughs> Have a great day at work. Love you. Love you too. Fucking graffiti. Really, Sam? Well, you're the one who taught me to express my opinions. Look, I can't be doing with your sarcasm right now. That copper said if they catch you doing any more of that shite, you're gonna get banged up. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's it. I'm done. Well, fuck off out my sight. Oh, another thing. A mate of mine said he's seen two puffers moving in down the hall. Stay away from them. Do you think Gordon Ramsay would be like the Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader of the cooking world? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Jamie Oliver, the Emperor. Yeah. That bastard took away our turkey Twizzlers. Exactly. <sighs> Who would be Yoda? <laughs> Gino, Gino De Campo. De Campo. We've been knocking for us at this hour. We don't even know what to be in the building yet. <sighs> alright, alright, I'm coming. I'm sorry to disturb you, and you don't know me at all. I'm sorry. Uh, I need your help with something. Thank you. Thank you. So, what is so earth-shatteringly urgent that you need to wake up two strangers in the middle of the night? Craig, whatever it is you're here to talk about, we're here. Thank okay. you. My dad's not exactly a progressive person. He'd throw me out as soon as he finds out. I, I see, yeah. Do you have friends or anyone to talk to about this? Eh, Harry, but he's not really a friend. Right, I see. So I assume me and Craig are the only ones that know about this? As well as Harry, obviously. Like, yeah, so far. I could tell a few other people, but I know they wouldn't accept me. Right, I see. Uh, and I assume this is this is why you get in trouble with the law all the time. I guess so. Look, 
I was exactly like you at your age. Angry at the world because it wasn't going to accept me. And I know exactly how you feel. If the world's not going to accept me, I might as well burn it to a cinder, right? But I realised this far too late, that if you try to burn something down, chances are you're going to end up burning yourself too. Well, what should I do? Just sit back and accept it? No, you, you don't do that. That kid, uh, Harry, he's more than just a friend, right? Well then, you've got all that you need, right there. Coming out can be a very hard thing. And sometimes you might feel that people aren't there for you. But they always come around. You're never alone in this. Never forget that. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'll let you get settled in. Uh, thanks for the, for, for the drink and, you know, the, everything else. Uh, thank you. All right, all right, Sam. Take care. I'll, I'll see you out. Shit, Dad. I thought you were off to the pub. Oh, I'd left me wallet in the flat. What the fuck's going on here? Didn't I tell you to stay away from these two? Dad? No. I do not you later. I knew you two faggots moving in here would spell fucking trouble. You stay away from my son. Do you hear me? Look, sir, you don't understand. Sam was oh, just... Do I not? We'll fucking understand this. Look. <coughs> I'm going to rip your fucking head off! Craig! 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 I'm going to report you to the police for sexually assaulting my son. There's no point unpacking any of them boxes. I'm fucking done for. Dad! It's not their fault. What are you talking about? I'm gay. No. No. I don't understand. It says something, doesn't it? The fact that I have to go to two complete strangers who I've never even met before instead of my own fucking father. Shit. Sam, I think it's time for you to leave. I know. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm off to Harry's now. I'll be back to collect the rest of my things. Dad, you've got two choices. One, you can accept me for who I am, or you can watch me walk out that door. There's no negotiations. I'm not coming to visit you, except for the time that I come back and get the rest of my things. But other than that, that's it for me and you. I don't want to be forced to do that. You're my only dad. I'm your only son. It's about time you act like it. Key. I'm going to need your house key. You've got until 12 on Monday to get the rest of your things. Goodbye, Jack.
it, babe. Yeah. That was work. Yeah, it was good. Oh, good, good. You know, how come every time I bake something out of this book, they never ever come out like they do on the photos? You alright? I just saw Sam in the hallway. Oh. Is, is he alright? He had a suitcase and he looked really upset. Bless him, well, we all know what that means. I'm sure he'll be alright. Yeah. He'll have his struggles. But I think he's got someone to hold his hand through it. Just like I did.